Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the new START treaty between Russia and America. Please remember to like and subscribe. Now let's get right into it. Fact 1. The latest edition. The new START treaty is the nuclear proliferation treaty between Russia and the United States. However, this is not the first nuclear treaty. There were many, many different treaties going all the way back to the 1960s to make sure the United States and the Russian militaries don't overbuild their nuclear arsenals and cause a worldwide catastrophe. They have been limiting each other's production of nuclear warheads and nuclear deployments for a long time now. And the START Treaty, of course, is a acronym standing for Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. And again, this follows START 1, START 2, and SALT, and many other treaties from the past. Great, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2, two types of inspections. A main component of this treaty is the permission for each other's country to inspect each other's nuclear arsenals and nuclear deployments. This means that Russians get a chance to take a look at United States nuclear arsenal, various ICBM silos, and strategic bombers. And the same thing could be done on the Russian side by United States inspectors. As I mentioned, the inspection covers two types of inspections. The Type 1 focuses on on-site with deployed and non-deployed strategic systems. The one I just mentioned where they would go to each other's countries on the military basis and take a look. Type 2 inspections, however, only focuses on non-deployed strategic systems, which are nuclear delivery systems that are capable of nuclear missions, but not actually actively engaged in doing so. All right. Let's get into the next fact. Fact 3, the US hit one quota. The New START nuclear treaty involves several quotas for each nation to follow. Each nation must not go over these quotas. Currently, the first quota is 700 deployed ICBMs or submarine launched ballistic missiles and heavy bombers, 1,550 nuclear warheads, and 800 deployed and non-deployed ICBM launchers, submarine launchers, and heavy bombers equipped for nuclear armaments. The United States is actually at exactly 800 deployed and non-deployed ICBM launchers, submarine launchers, and heavy bombers for nuclear armaments. Russians stay well within the limits for all types of quotas. It is interesting, this is also a point of contention between Russians and the United States. Because even though the United States is at exactly 800, the Russians are contending that the United States did not count several other types of systems that have been decommissioned for nuclear use, but are still capable in doing so if converted. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. Notifications. A huge part of the New Star Nuclear Treaty is the notifications that each country's military must give each other when involving nuclear armaments, systems, commissioning, and deployments. As an example, whenever a new missile enters the force, each party must give a 48-hour notice of notifications of an ICBM leaving a production facility. Another type of notification could be a status change for missiles. Each party must provide notifications when a missile becomes deployed or non-deployed or sent to a different military base. Another notification includes notifying each other of a changing of base or deployment locations of strategic nuclear weapons. Of course, there are many others, including decommissioning of nuclear weapons. Whenever you eliminate or destroy a nuclear weapon, you must also notify the other party of you doing so, where it is being done, and also notify within a 
few days later when it has been completed. Even removing fuel from the ICBMs is a cause for notification to the other country. So as you can imagine, up to 25,000 notifications are transferred between the United States and Russia every year on the movement and activities and operations of the nuclear weapons. All right, let's get into the next and final fact, the Russian suspension. At the time of this video, in February of 2023, the Russian president declared that they are now suspending their participation in the New START Treaty. They have made it clear that they are not withdrawing from the treaty and are still bound to it. However, they are starting to refuse on-site inspections as covered in the previous section for the Type 1 and Type 2 inspections. And the reason they're given is that they are worried with Ukraine being a Western ally, will take advantage of these on-site inspections and get into the secret facilities of the Russian Federation. Because the treaty allows on-site inspectors into sensitive Russian military installations, the Russian side is worried that the Ukrainians will use this opportunity to sabotage or even destroy their nuclear facilities. While this is indeed a valid concern, it further complicates the treaty because now the Russians can really do whatever they want to do without any inspections. Who knows if they start producing warheads or deploying warheads beyond the quota set in the treaty. No one will ever know until the inspections are allowed to resume again. Well that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.